Welcome back to the Ultimate Guide to Touch OSC. I'm Tim Corpus, composer and sound designer, and we're finally gonna do it. We're gonna talk about what you've been asking about for so long. Have I been ignoring you? Yes, but that's only because Hexler actually has information about Logic and Touch OSC on their website. So, you know, there's been information, but now we're gonna walk through it. I'm gonna show you uh, the Logic Pad template. Hopefully you saw the last video that I did, uh, which talked about my MacBook Pro, pairing it with Touch OSC, uh, and that was using GarageBand. And a lot of that, the method is the same in terms of pairing the iPad with the computer. So we'll review a tiny bit of that, If but if you, um, if you have more questions about that, maybe check out that previous video. So I've got Touch OSC running on my iPad. Uh, you can see we've just got a black screen here. And here on my MacBook, uh, I've just got a, you know, starter file, uh, nothing special on it. Um, it's basically just turned on. But what we need to do is make sure that our MIDI setup is good to go. So as you recall from the last one, um, you can search in your finder for MIDI. As you can see, a lot of different things are coming up, but audio MIDI setup is what we're looking for. And right here, we need to enable the iPad that you have set up. And of course, I have Touch OSC already installed on the iPad, so if you haven't done that already, uh, be sure to do that. So we've got it set up, and that's as easy as it is. You can go ahead and close this out. And let's take a look at the iPad, and we're gonna have to set up our connections. So uh, what we're gonna do is hit the little uh, link in the top right corner, and we need a MIDI connection. So let's turn that on and browse, and you can see IDAM MIDI host, select that for our receive and for our send. Then we're also going to need the OSC. So you're gonna go ahead and turn that on. And then let's browse. And you can see Tim's MacBook Air, select that. And one thing you wanna be sure to select is the zero config. Now there's a couple different things you could choose from here, uh, but what we're gonna want is Logic Pad. Because what we're gonna do, we're gonna do something different in this video. We are not going to create a template. We're going to use one of the demo templates in the help. So let's select that. So let's select done. We're out of this. Now on the iPad, let's hit the menu button on the side. And there's this little book. Open that up. And here are a bunch of uh, demo templates that come with Touch OSC. And you guessed it, we're gonna do Logic Pad. So let's select that and load that up. And you can see there's some information here. It is saying, uh, you know, make sure what your receive port is, make sure you select your uh, zero config, which we already did. That's on Logic Pad. And we can select OK. Now that's cool. Now let's go ahead and turn it on. Let's hit play. Now we don't have anything happening here. So let's go to our uh, MacBook here. We want to go to Logic Pro. And let's go to our preferences. Uh, we want control surface. And let's see what we have here. And you can see, I've done this before, but this new one, we have this uh, work iPad here, which is this current device. So it's all loaded up. And this is showing you all of the different, uh, you know, signals that are being sent. Now, of course, I've done this before, so you can see previous ones. Uh, but you can go ahead and ignore that because this should work just the same. You can close this out and let's see what happens. So if you look at this track one, I haven't done anything more except for that setup. And I'm going to turn up and there we go. You can see we are already impacting the audio. Um, this is cool. This is actually going to be a guitar. So let's call this guitar. Nice. Oh, and then boom, right there. Now, I'm not actually surprised, but I was acting it for you. You can see track one has changed its name to guitar. Let's add another track, track, new track. Uh, let's do a software instrument. Um, doesn't really matter. Let's load that electric piano in. And now you can see in channel two, that's also been set. So the cool thing about the way the Logic is working with Touch OSC is Logic's 
pretty MIDI and OSC friendly. So there's this communication back and forth that we don't always see with a lot of DAWs. So it's very simple to set this up. And we'll look at expanding that and working that with your own personal template. But for right now, let's just get it working for you so you can do some controlling and some mixing. So as you can see, I can control uh, channel two and channel one. We can mute them. We could solo them, all this stuff. Um, you know, you can do it all. It's so user friendly. Um, let's unmute that. I love the ability to select these. That's, I, I know that's a big thing that people have questions about is, hey, I'm, you know, working in my template, but I wanna be able to move back and forth. If I'm selecting on the MacBook, you can see the selection changing on the TouchOS C template. And that is perfect. That's exactly what we want. One more track. Let's just do this. Um, another one, uh, guitar or bass, sure. And you can see guitar one is added in there. Perfect. So let's go to the next page. There is a pager here in this template and this is a mixer pan sends. Um, so if you had a lot of stuff in your sends, we're not gonna look into this too much. Some of these you would have to set up. Where is the send going? Easier to do in the MacBook than it is on Touch OSC, but here you could control some of those. Um, let's, you, and you can also see like the bank control, right? So if you had uh, more than eight tracks, you can select through the bank. You can bank left and right uh, to view all of your different tracks. And then on the channel strip, this is what's really nice. So right here in this guitar, um, it just pulled up. Once we moved to the channel strip, it automatically pulled up our first effect. And you can see we can play around with some of these parameters, which um, you, know, you can see on the template what they are. Uh, these may not be in the order that it is on uh, Logic. It may be, but it depends on which plugin you're working in. Um, so just be aware of that. I don't think it's a huge deal because uh, it's still just nice to have this kind of control. Um, but yeah, you can play around with that. Let's turn off some of these. Let's play around here. We can turn off the noise gate. Let's go into Logic here and this tape delay here. I want to turn that off or I guess I just turned it on. And you can see on Touch OSC, it is telling the template to turn it on and off. And you can select these, right? So if I was to open the compressor, I push that button here on the side, and there we go. And then let's, let's uh, cycle through some of these things. I haven't actually played with all of these, so it looks like this is the type. Oh, I see that. Playing with the threshold here, the ratio. Nice, this is cool stuff. And then we have this EQ. But let's look at a different EQ. All right, I want you to go back to the mixer and let's select our first track, which I called guitar. So we select that on the iPad and then let's go to the pager that says equalizer. Logic automatically pulls up the equalizer and we can control from our iPad, we can set up a different EQ system. This is super helpful, especially if you are in another room. Let's say you're in the vocal booth and you're controlling a lot of these things. You can you know, play with your voice while you're in there as opposed to having to go to your rig. And of course, you can turn these on and off. Let's hit that high pass filter and you can control that. You can control the frequency. Let's turn these guys down here and then turn on the low pass filter. And again, we have full range of control here. Um, one thing to note, these radials, you know, they're super sensitive. So this isn't the best way to do any fine tuning with your EQ, um, but it's fun. It's a nice, easy way to, you know, just get around with what you're doing. Or let's say you were uh, recording in a special rhythm of the way the EQ is impacting your guitar or vocals. That's a great way to do it. You can just play this in. And then let's go back to our mixer and let's select our guitar one again. All right, so we've selected that. It closed the EQ, which is super helpful. And now let's hit software instrument. And again, it's bringing us back to uh, controlling parameters. Some of these you would have to set up, right? Because in the last one in channel strip, we could see how we could control a lot of these. If you were gonna play with this page in your template, um, you may have to configure these and set these up.
let's go back to the mixer. All right, so let's close this in Logic. So one thing that's really fun to play with here or to, I guess, use uh, fast editing is to be able to move left and right. Now, I'd love if this was a jog wheel, but it's not in this template. It's just an arrow. So you can hit this arrow to the right to move your cursor over. And then if you had a marker, which let's just go ahead and add one real quick. So we go over here to navigate and create marker. All right, there's a marker. Let's go a little bit further. I'm gonna select here on measure 13 and let's add another marker. Let's say you were setting up your verse and then your chorus. Uh, so you easily wanna be able to go through them. Here on your template, you can hit by marker. And now we're going to hit the left arrow and we're gonna to jump to the markers as opposed to jumping in between uh, measures or jumping between markers. Super useful way of getting around, especially like I said, if you're in the vocal booth, you want to record the verse, you know, and then jump right to the chorus, record the first verse again. You don't necessarily have to listen and play back. You can just use your markers smartly and jump around. Setting up Touch OSC with Logic is very simple. Uh, hopefully this worked for you. If you have questions, be sure to put those in the comments. Uh, also the Facebook group and the Discord channel. But hopefully you learned something today and you can like this video. Please subscribe to the channel. We're around like 500 subscribers right now, uh, which is way more than I ever imagined that this would get to. Uh, so uh, thank you to you all. That's super awesome. And I'm looking forward to uh, creating more content about Touch OSC and different technology with music production. So uh, stick around. We're gonna dive into more and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Thank you.